G'day, Tom from CoCreative. This video is gonna show you how to generate a QR code using the Adobe Suite, especially InDesign and Illustrator to make a fully vectorized QR code that can be used on multiple print or web items that's infinitely scalable. Let's jump right in and do it. So this is the quickest way I've found to make a QR code with Adobe Creative Cloud. Now I'm sure there's many other ways to do it, but this is the quickest way I've found. So let's find what link you want to make a QR code. Let's do a YouTube channel. Check it out if you haven't. Like and subscribe. So I've copied the URL and I go to, I've opened up InDesign in the Creative Cloud and I've just gone to Object, Generate QR Code. Just gone to Web Hyperlink, drop in the URL there, click OK. There you have it. I copy this out of InDesign, drop it into Illustrator just to have a little bit more control over the vector. So as you can see, it's all like that. So group, and normally I open up in Windows Pathfinder and flatten it. So now you've got one image, but this is a QR code as you can see, and now it's a vector. You can scale it up. Big or small, you can save it as a JPEG or a PNG with no background and dump it on any item you want, but that's the quickest and easiest way. And also you can come in here and change colors. I've, I've found red, the, the darker colors work better. You, in lighter colors, maybe cameras don't pick it up as well, but you can change the most colors and it'll be fine still. So that's the quick and easy way to create a QR code using um, Creative Cloud and InDesign. Hope this has helped. Any more quick tips, let me know if you want to find out and I'll um, try and make a video for you. Thank you. Thanks for making it this far. I'm really enjoying making these videos. So please stick around for the next one. I've got heaps of videos on the way and I'm really, really enjoying creating them. See you in the next one.